there was speculation, like I said, of such a die coming out. Uh, I've read different articles from old magazines, and it was really hard to believe. I guess magicians didn't believe it. And uh, what, what the speculation was, they'll believe it when they see it. So when Inverti invented this, uh, you know, it, it, it really took the magic community by storm. You may not know who Inverti was, but you probably have performed some of his iconic magic tricks. He's a creator of mental dice, color match, and many more. But who was he? Like any good researcher, the first thing we did was jump into Google. The only thing that we encountered was the usual repetitive information on every site we encountered. So, we decided to bring some backup. This is Patrick Wolford. He's a magic creator at Murphy's Magic. Tell me about how you got involved with uh, the Inverti. Well, the first time I had ever seen anything uh, Inverti had done was in the late 80s. Uh, and mind you, this was 20 years after the effect had been developed and, and put on the market. And I was blown away because I hadn't seen anything like that. Um, and so when we had the opportunity to purchase uh, the Anverti rights, uh, we jumped on it. We jumped on it. Um, how could we not? For me, it's, it's kind of interesting that uh, the man's legacy is more about his work and not about the man himself. I, I, I looked around um, at pretty much all the sources that I could find and I found a lot of sources on his work, but not about who he was as an individual. We asked Patrick if there was anyone who can help us discover the genius of Amverde. So as far as the genius of Amverde, um, yeah, yeah, there's someone who could definitely point you in the right direction. We gathered the crew to go on this journey. The mission was simple. Learn more about the genius of Inverti. Uh, tell me about yourself. Well, my name is Chuck Caputo. I've been doing magic professionally for over 35 years as a full-time job. I'm also a magic collector. I collect, uh, well, as you know, a lot of Inverti magic. Chuck has over 30 Inverti pieces in his collection, which has been steadily growing since he saw his first Inverti invention in 1986. He's also been performing Inverti Fix for over 35 years. Inverti was born in Holland in 1925, and I believe he passed away in 1995. So he lived there and he built all of his magic props and he shipped them worldwide. As far as the type of magic he performed was mostly electronic, but he also built liquid magic effects. And they were totally fantastic. I mean, he had different bottles that made liquid appear and disappear, milks, wines and he also had trays and different milk pitchers and his electronic magic he was probably best known for uh, you know ranging from walking tables to mental dyes color match which is a magic marker effect uh, it's, it's fantastic but he he uh, he did a little bit of everything and on his lecture notes he also uh, he also came up with some very neat ideas as far as using a scarf and thread uh, some some very novel ideas he was a very clever man Inverti was responsible for some of the finest magic creations ever and was also a pioneer in microelectronic magic. Mental die was one of his most iconic inventions. The Inverti mental die, it's probably one of my favorite effects and uh, there was speculation in the early 60s, 1962, 1963, that there was an electronic die that was going to come out on the market. Inverti was the one who created this. Basically it was a plexiglass die, maybe three inches. Uh, three inches by three inches, standard die with a black plexiglass box. The box was opaque. You can place it inside, close the lid, and yet, from across the room, the magician could discern what number, what digit was facing up. As far as color match goes, at the time when Inverti came out with this, as far as I know, there was a few similar effects, but it was not done the way Inverti did it. Uh, there, a spectator would draw something and it would match a basic drawing. But nothing like Anverdi's. When he came out with the wireless technology, he propelled this way into the future. He took it to the next level. And that's the creative genius that Anverdi was. The first Anverdi prop I ever got, as best as I can remember, was the talking skull. It's a phenomenal effect. The little skull is suspended on a 
clear plexiglass uh, backboard. And when you pulse the transmitter, there's a magnet in his jaw and there's a coil in the base of the unit that'll attract the jaw. And I've used this for numerous, numerous years. I still use it. That's probably my favorite effect as well. What do you know of Van Verde as an individual? You know what? I was never fortunate enough to meet the man. Uh, but from what I've heard, you know, he was a very nice man and um, he was a perfectionist. So he wanted things done right. And he, he was born in Holland and he lived out there uh, throughout the remainder of his life. Probably the only person I could compare Van Verde to would be like a Steve Jobs. I mean, he was a tinkerer and he was a perfectionist and he, uh, he dabbled in all types of different electronic type of devices and he improved on it until, which is what you, you, you would have later in his catalogs, which he uh, sold different items from Holland. And uh, so yeah, he was definitely uh, way ahead of his time and he would be up there as a creative genius in the magic field. He obviously thought very different from from anyone else uh, during that time period. Um, you know, you, you have to remember, this was, this was a time and place where magicians were, were pulling things out of red boxes with, you know, Chinese lettering on it, and man, he went in a totally different direction. Um, just, he, he, he was a man of his own. I mean, he, he really didn't follow uh, uh, what everyone else was doing. We went on this journey to discover the genius behind Enverde. But what we realized was none of that really mattered. What really matters is all the stuff that he left behind and how that inspires all of us. Who he was as a person may be forever lost in history, but his legacy through all of his creations, I think that's what's going to live on forever.